Do you have a great team in your small business? If not, it's time to start thinking about hiring the right people. The team you put together will make or break your business, so getting this step right is essential. In this video, we'll talk about how to find and hire the best people for your small business. Let's uncover these secrets together right after this. To be successful in business, you need a great team behind you. But how do you go about finding and hiring the right people for the job? In this video, we'll talk about how to find and hire the best people for your small business. Hi, I'm Doug Barra, and over the past 16 years, I have worked with some of the most courageous people I have ever met small business owners like yourself that take on the most monumental task of creating and building a business. I'm honored and, quite frankly, a bit daunted by the responsibility of assisting such amazing people to achieve their wildest dreams. And one of the key things I find is they constantly have to confront the difficulty of creating a real winning team. Much of what we'll cover here are concepts from the four best-selling books, Who by Jeff Smart and Randy Street, Instant Team by Bradley Sugars, Succession by Marshall Goldsmith, and what got you here won't get you there, also by Marshall Goldsmith. So whether you're just starting or looking to make a change in your team, watch this video. It will give you the insights and tools you need to develop a team that will take your business to the next level. The biggest mistake small business owners make when hiring is not taking the time to understand what they need Instead, they're in such a hurry to get someone in the door that they don't take the time to figure out what the job entails and what kind of person would be best suited for it. When building your team, you must consider three things, culture fit, skill set, and motivation. Does this person fit in with your company culture? Do they have the skills they need? And are they motivated by something other than money? We'll talk about each of these in a bit. First step is to figure out what you need. If you're unsure, spend some time observing your team and see where the gaps are. Once you have identified the areas you need help with, it's time to start writing your job descriptions. When most people write job descriptions, they focus on skills and experience. But to attract the best candidates, you need to go beyond that. You need to consider what kind of person would excel in this role and what type of team they would fit into. What are their values? What motivates them? This is where culture fit comes in. You also need to consider what skills this person needs to excel in their role. Unfortunately, this is where a lot of small business owners make mistakes. They either hire someone with too much experience who is overqualified and bored, or they hire someone with no experience who needs a lot of training. The best way to find the sweet spot is to look for what's known as learning agility. Somebody who is intelligent, coachable, and can learn new things quickly. These people will be able to hit the ground running and adapt as your business grows. Finally, you need to think about motivation. Money is not always the best motivator, especially for top, top talent. When interviewing candidates, try to get a sense of what makes them tick. What are their goals and aspirations? What gets them excited to come to work in the morning? When you're clear about what you need and who would be a good fit for your team, it's time to start looking for candidates. The best place to start is with your current employees. They already know the culture and have a relationship with you. Another great source of candidates 
is your networks, people you know and trust who can vouch for somebody's character and abilities. When reaching out to your network, make sure you're specific about what you're looking for. The more details you can give, the better. If you don't have any luck with your current employees or your network, the next best place to look is online. There are a number of great websites and job boards that can help you find candidates with the right skills and experience. Once you've found a few candidates, it's time to start interviewing. The most important thing to remember is to be consistent. Ask all of your candidates the same questions so you can compare them side by side. Some final tips. Take your time. Don't rush into hiring someone just because you're short-staffed. It's better to wait a little longer and find the right person than to hire someone who's not a good fit. Be prepared to negotiate. Top talent is in high demand, so be prepared to pay a little more to get the best. Check references. This is one of the most important things you can do. Talk to their pre previous employers and get a sense of what they're really like to work with. Hiring the right team is one of the most important things you can do for your small business. By taking your time and being thoughtful about who you're bringing on, you'll set yourself up for success from the start. And that's something we can all get behind. So what are some of the key things to keep in mind when hiring for your small business? First, you need to determine the specific skills and experience required for the role. Second, consider what kind of person would be the best fit for your team. What are their values? What motivates them? Third, consider what kinds of skills this person needs to excel in the role. Look for someone with learning agility, someone intelligent, coachable, and who can learn new things quickly. Finally, get a sense of what makes them tick. What are their goals and aspirations? What gets them excited to come to work in the morning? By keeping these things in mind, you'll be well on your way to finding the perfect team for your small business. Happy hiring. Do you have any tips for hiring the right team members? Share them in the comments below. Would you like to learn more about hiring practices or other topics regarding the business success? Yes? Great! Then there are a few things that you need to do right now. First, like this video so I know that you got value and I'll make more videos like this one. Second, Subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video so that you don't miss a single piece of the valuable information we share. And last, click the link in the description to register for the next live web class we hold on Thursdays and unearth the secrets to scaling your business. You can also register by going to www.businesssuccess.group forward slash scaling live. That's www.businesssuccess.group forward slash scaling live. I'm Doug Barra, and I'm passionate about helping small businesses succeed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.